customer had to cancel on a client for medical reasons. Am I wrong about the response before a meet and greet? <sighs> Hi, don't worry. Don't worry, dog life. Uh, here's a dog. Here's the dog I'm watching, Amber and Delmar. Delmar, California. Uh, this is uh, Kylo Ren. Kylo here today. This uh, year and a half dachshund getting some sunbathing. Uh, this is Annie right here, and I am Annie's parent. So, uh, Reddit response. Uh, first, the uh, had to uh, the dog sitter had to cancel uh, before meet and greet, and then the, uh, the the owner, you know, was like, "Really? Are you serious?" And you know, she's like, "Oh, am I upset?" Um, and you know. It's not a, it's not a rude response. It's not like a disrespectful response. But you know, she she gives her her reasoning. Uh, she had, this is before a meet and greet. This is like four hours. Later. So uh, she gives her reasoning and uh, says, "Oh, I have a medical issue. I I I'm, I'm not going to be able to do anything, you know." And so, you know, it was like four hours ahead of time, and they hadn't left yet. They hadn't left in traffic. Um, and. It's difficult to find, uh, if, for customers' point of view, it's difficult to find a, uh, a dog sitter uh, uh, <laughs> when you're trying to get, you know, if you're contacting like four or five people sometimes uh, to meet your schedule, to meet your budget, and and it's tough. So me, uh, I'm Delmar. I'm on Rover uh, the last six years. And, uh, six years with Rover. Uh, previously a bigger place, so I was boarding a lot more dogs. Now I'm in a smaller place, closer to the beach, and um, you know, doing solo dog boarding the best that I can. That's kind of how I how I like doing it uh, right now, and so give the most attention to solo dogs. And some people want that. Some people are just hard to find. You know, it's like a size thing. You know that, that there are more uh, dogs than sitters out there, and. If you have a larger dog, uh, you're probably going to have a harder time than a dog sitter. If you have a, uh, <laughs> if you have a larger breed or a bully breed or just a, some, some certain kinds of dogs that people perceive as a problem, uh, no matter what size they are, <laughs> this guy, this guy right here, can be a problem because whenever I leave sight. Uh, but he's a repeat, so he's easier this time. Um, so yeah, you know, a, a meet and greet is not uh, a guarantee of, of anything. And uh, it, it, nothing is guaranteed until uh, the, the money is in the account. <laughs> Nothing's guaranteed until the money is in the account. So if you're trying to, you know, trying to meet with, with uh, customers, trying to arrange to meet with you, you know, and, and then you cancel. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna frustrate them because they've, they've already had like four, four no replies. Uh, you know, or just having a hard time. But on the other end, you know, if you can tell by the response, you know, this is a she, she had a well re rehearsed response. You know, she had a really good response about medical issue for the family. I've got to go visit them. And, you know, I've had to have my sitter for Annie, Annie right here, she, she has a sitter, and her sitter, uh, had to cancel on us, and it was, you know, we had, we had planned a trip four months out, uh, to go to Ventura, and we needed, uh, we had a red, it was a regular sitter, I watched her before, so she, she, she knew who she was, and, you know, probably was pretty easy, but, uh, my sitter's family got sick, uh, the same as this OP on Reddit, and the Reddit forum. Uh, and, you know, had to leave, you know, leave uh, the city and go and visit them. It was serious enough or non-COVID related that they could go and visit their family when they were sick. So, uh, it's an emergency. It is an emergency. And you're going to do it before, you know, it, it, was, it was two weeks before my trip. 
And so I, I, I had to go back on roll by myself and consider and, um, <laughs> and try to find, you know, somebody else. And, and then, you know, within a week or so, within two weeks. And it took me four people four, uh, of uh, not available and did not have the calendar. <laughs> That's another thing, you know, uh, Rover will show you sometimes whether your calendar is updated. It, it, it'll show you um, if you're active, wh whether or not you've said it is available or not. So, especially on during summertime, times, you know, some people are going to be there. I I even if they had said they got a you know, like 10 miles away to find another sitter, and it was a newer lady, uh, she only had one, one, uh, uh, she actually had no reviews yet, so she was pretty much brand new, she maybe, she had to have watched it, review, so, uh, I went ahead, and, you know, she was available, and she was a nice lady, and she had a nice old senior dog also, so it was two senior dogs sleeping all day long, in her house, going on short walks, with this up just fine for her. Let's get away from that over here. I don't know, a stick or, or poop or not, I don't know what it is. So, that worked out, and, you know, it was you know, two weeks away. So now, the the other option that, that I would definitely suggest when you're going to cancel on somebody, uh, either if they paid or before the meet and greet, is offer another name. You know, so since I have, now I have two sitters that, I, uh, that I've that i used with my doggy. If I can't accommodate them and I think they're a good fit, uh, then I want to try and say, hey, well, contact this person on Rover. Yeah, or or this person as well, you know, in La, in La Jolla. And one of them, you know, the, their calendar says they're available. So uh, they also might be a good fit. You know, and so this person who replied, you know, really, are you serious? It's 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 not really. A, it's it's kind of a. It's it's not a positive tone, but it's also like, indicative of what kind of, person you're going to get if if there's any sort of issues, going down the line, uh, with booking. You know, when, if you actually end up do, meeting the person, and you know they're going to give you a reply like that, like some sort of sarcastic reply. Uh, when you've given them, you know, two or three paragraphs about why somebody is ill, and then uh, you can't do the meet and greet. You can't even, you, so you can't watch their dog at all. Uh, and, you know, you haven't even met them yet. So, it's just, it's it's all, it's self-selecting, because really the meet and greet, uh, half of it, the, the dogs are easy. It's the owners that, uh, that you're you know, have to, or, or the trouble sometimes, and, uh, you know, I, I make trouble myself, uh, I try to be the best sitter and walker, but, you know, I've made mistakes, when, you know, the, before even the people, uh, I've made mistakes for, they, they haven't given me bad reviews, um, mostly because, uh, I give a lot of photos, I send photos just like cute little dog pictures of them dogs relaxing. So that's my answer about that. Uh, you know, um, go ahead and <laughs> if if they give you a bad reply, and and you know, at some point you, you can tell what kind of owner they're going to be, and it's easier to, to just not not even book it to begin with. Like you're you're the best that that was the best selection. You probably weren't a good fit to begin with. Okay, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> we're going to head back now. Uh, if you want to order some tea on Teamelia, T-E-A-M-E-L-L-I-A, Teamelia.com. Great tea, great life. Green tea, uh, black tea, Assam tea, Jin Mai Cha, uh, Matcha, uh, sent to your house. Right, thanks, everybody.